Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Theme Park, it's episode 123 and it's the first episode that is on a Tuesday. So I hope you all, you're all here, I hope you all found the new spot, but um, I think you're not stupid so you should have been, been gedunst able to be sozusagen, kind of. Okay, um, just quickly, I'm sorry. Ah, that is good. Okay. Change my seating position, otherwise I will, I don't know, be way too quiet over the course of the video so you don't hear me. That would be a bad thing for a video, I think. Yeah, what you, I've been done here, I mean, that's, that's like a common common theme. Um, you will see that very often. That I have to, uh, before I start the recording, or before I start building um, anything, that I have to uh, adjust the test results from the uh, flying coaster and from the woody. So that the peeps are actually going on those rides, even though they the game thinks they have... Um, Insanely high intensity ratings. What we're doing here is we're um, making a new entrance to our underground tunnel system because we had many people or many um, peeps have have been uh, stuck here in this area because they wanted to go to the Rome section but they didn't understand that they had to go the way around over the bridge so I had to um, make a shortcut here to avoid the biggest peep jam in peep jam history it should be really interesting if I get it uh, Get other my my next big park. I mean, there will be a next big park someday. So, um, if I will manage that without any of those underground bullshit and uh, stuff like that, or if I will just use like small shortcuts from this to there and not like this huge uh, system we have under underneath Let's Build a Theme Park. But I'm not quite sure about that. If if I I don't know. If I will use it, like not at all, that every path is above above ground, that there's no shortcuts, no shit like that, uh, or if, yeah, I don't know. And I decided to put a fence around the stadium. That would be a little bit more realistic and it, it just looks better, I think, from the, from the inside. I mean, it's, it's like in a, the stadium itself, uh, the inside of the stadium is still themed after the post-apocalyptic um, part of the park I wanted to do here originally before I started the Life is Strange or the Arcadia Bay area. And I think um, yeah, the, the stadium material still looks like it should have been built in a post-apocalyptic world. Not even sure what exactly those little towers are representing. If they are, I don't know, commentator boxes or VIP boxes or I don't know. They're just there. Now, now they're just there.
Uh, that's back to flowers and bushes. Woo! The only thing that's more boring than planting flowers and bushes in a park in RCG2 is to commentate on a video that it's only, well, only, I don't know, bushes and flowers have been planted. Because you really, you don't know what you, what you should say, what you should talk about. But what am I supposed to say now? And yeah, I had a, this great idea there with more flowers and a, this one bush here, and that really reminds me of, that's, that's bullshit. Just trying to get a realistic looking foliage done. But that's the same attitude I had like five, I don't know, five years ago, so. Not that much to comment about. You should already, you should all know that already. Already know, already. Holy shit. I feel like I've got a knot in my tongue. Every time I want to say something, my brain just freezes and I'm talking shit. Oh, come on, what else are we doing? Come on, do something. Anything. Blow something up or stuff, stuff like that. In, in, in case you were wondering, um, for those of you who watched the episode last Friday, they might have seen that there was a land spike, I think they are called, um, right at the end of the stream or of the video. Uh, I did get rid of that relatively fast. Um, first I thought hell from, from other members, but someone gave me a quick heads up how to, how to do do that myself and I did it and it worked, which is great. Um, yeah, which means that I could, that I had been able to continue building relatively fast back then, like three months ago, four months ago. The only thing bothering me is that if I had known if I had known how to get rid of those land spikes, I think well, I don't know, three or four week month earlier, I, I had another I had a land spike before, but um, I somehow managed to get rid of it without knowing how to do so, and that resulted in a uh, t-shirt stall. Um, being misplaced and that resulted in me getting huge chunks of or huge loads of arrow trappers when I started finishing the park um, last month because I want of obviously I wanted to to open all the no bullshit that was actually before this recording happened I think, not sure, but I think, because I had to open all the uh, all the flat rides, all the um, merchandise and eating stalls and shit like that, all the uh, attractions. And when I did so, um, I tried to do so automatically with the um, activate all tool, um, but that 
didn't go as planned because in while using the um, activate all tool I obviously did activate the misplaced t-shirt stall which then resulted in an error trapper and it took me I don't know half an hour till I figured out which stall um, was broken and why and yeah that was not funny at all But that's a thing of the past now, oh, so... Oh yeah, man. My PC wants to shut itself down again. You don't do some... Sh no such thing now. Okay. The problem is normally a PC would recognize that there is a video playing or that a program is running in the background. I would not shut itself down because he knows okay there is something going on here um, but Camtasia somehow does not count as such a program meaning there is a video recording in the background I am commentating right now I mean I, I watch the video right now and then commentate on it so this means there is a video recording going on and there is a video playing in the background um, MMPC still doesn't recognize the stats and tries to shut the, um, the flat screens. Not the flat screens, the, 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 the screen just, just wants to shut the screens down after, I don't know, a couple of minutes. Sometimes it doesn't do that, sometimes he does it, I have no idea. It's not every recording, it's like every third or fourth that he wants to do that, but I don't know why. And it's always English recordings, maybe it just doesn't like England or the US or Scotland or Ireland or Canada or some other country that does speak English like Australia or New Zealand. Yeah, swimming around the park, causing headaches. Good thing, good thing to do. Loads of fun, actually. Now, I think you already guessed it, but my goal while building this specific area was to create a forest. I know it's hard to believe, um, takes a while to, to sink in, but I did actually want to build a forest here. Um, and I think I succeeded. I planted trees, which the forest is, well, there are trees in a forest, that's um, normally that's the case, so there are trees, so this could be a forest. And um, yeah, I did actually plant some bushes too, I think, underneath the trees to get the undergrowth and stuff like that. So uh, this is actually a forest, full flesh forest. That's, that's great. That's something unique. We, uh, the first real forest we had this, in this park for a long time, like since Friday. I'm so glad I did delete this area in, a, in one of the future episodes because it just sucks. This huge triangle of trees that's, I don't know, it just doesn't look good. And I got bored of it, so I decided to do something else. But that's it for this episode, I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we will see each other again on Thursday for the next episode which is episode 124. Till then, um, follow us on social media if you like and links are all in the video description and see you guys next time, goodbye.